This is Frog Fishing for River Monsters. We're fishing for river monsters today, boys, but we're fishing with frogs. You guys have been wanting the frog videos. I've been dying to throw a frog. And today's the day that we whip the frogs out, except we are on the river searching for these monsters. We're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna show you guys all the frog options that I have. I actually went by Bass Pro the other day. I bought a bunch of different frogs. Like I got a standard, just like regular white popping frog on this rod. I got my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com, they'll be linked down below. I actually got a big walking bait on there, but I'm going to cut that out here in a second and actually put on that crazy looking frog, man. Pretty wild looking. When I was at Bass Pro, I actually picked up a couple different ones. Like this was on sale. These were only like four bucks, so I just bought a lot of them. Like this is a regular black popping frog. We got like this natural color right there. And then we have some of the popping pickles in the back of the boat. So that's gonna be good, but we're gonna stop rambling, man. We gotta hunt for those river monsters, baby. Hit the like button, let me know down below if you wanna see more river monster content. Let's get to casting, let's catch us a giant. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel, I'd appreciate it. First things first, we said we're gonna cut this one off of this rod and tie on this crazy looking frog i kind of want to show you guys this like more up close i have one the colors on this thing's just insane so it's got like a white sparkle on the bottom red mouth obviously blue purple orange and chartreuse on top and if you look at the skirt if you notice there's like all this silicone right like on a normal frog but it's got like some weird glimmer to it man i don't know i'm kind of liking it but we're gonna tie that on my kicking combo we're gonna have two different frogs tied on today just to kind of trial and error and then we'll probably switch up the frogs throughout the day and uh to be honest guys we're gonna see how this frog fishing goes if we have to switch up to like a different top water or even a different bait we will but that's not the goal today the goal is to primarily frog fish and, and live and die by it. But if we're like fishing for a couple hours and we just don't have a fish, that that becomes an issue. So we'll we'll fill it out throughout the day. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're going to smoke them on frogs today. We got out here at a good time with the tide. We're still waiting for that prime bite, but we're going to get around to it. Listen, that white frog's cool and all, <laughs> but we we going to try this puppy out right here. Crazy looking boy crazy looking thing without further ado let's get to casting oh i'm feeling this today we're gonna catch some giants man so we're towards the middle of this outgoing tide we're, we're, we're still more towards the top end of it and a lot of these fish i think are going to be positioned more towards the back of this pocket we're going to fish a lot of main river today but i wanted to come in here and start off in this pocket and just kind of get the feel for today and see if we can hunt for a big one because the last couple of times I fished this pocket with a frog, I had some really big bites. And I'm like, why not start the video with some dang big old river monsters if possible? So that's the plan, man. Let's hope I'm not asking for too much with these frog bass today. I don't think I am. I think this is a very reasonable thing to be doing right now. Oh my goodness. Talk about a beautiful left-hand skip. I think we're on today. Current is whipping out of here. I like almost couldn't even work that frog, dude. I don't want to get stuck in them trees. So one thing that we got to think about today as well is like, how fast do these fish want the frog? Are we going to have to work it really slow? You know, are they going to want it a little more aggressive? Those are all things that we got to try out today to kind of get an idea on what they're feeling. I just reeled it right above one's head, dude. I saw them last second. That sucks. Hold on. I gotta throw another cast in there. Right when I stopped working it to reel it in, he was right there. Probably could have got that fish to bite. Right there on that corner looks so juicy. Looks so juicy moosey. 
All right, it's time for y'all to keep your eyes peeled because we're getting into the zone to where I think these fish are gonna be. That whole front side, we had an opportunity to get a bite or two. Where we're at now is where I think the big girls are gonna be. Ooh, something just came up there. I don't know what that was. Probably not a bass, might have been a gar or a mudfish, some sort. We're getting in that hot zone, man. Praying, like this whole bank right here, I feel good about. There we go. Oh, look at that. She took it down when she didn't like hammer it right there. That was our first bite of the day right there. I would pick up another bait usually and throw it in there, but guess what guys, we're living and dying by this frog as long as we can. I kind of like, I know I could catch that fish on a different bait, but hey, listen, we gotta stay true to something today. Really hope that's not how they're gonna be eating a frog today. I don't think that's the case, but that bite was very pitiful. Like I rated, I rate that bite a 2.4 out of 10, which is honestly like I, I'd say maybe a little lower. Like that was a poor bite, but right here we're about to get slammed. Oh my gosh, no, that's a tree. But we're gonna dangle it, man. Come on. I just know there's a fish there, dude. That's, that is a prime spot. That just doesn't make sense in my head. Looks wick. There we go. Come here, boy, get us started. Let's go. Dude, that took like five casts. But look how he ate that frog, man. Right in the back of his throat, boy. Oh, <laughs> let's go. We had one bite going all the way back in this creek. I was about to pull out of here. Made like five casts in that same spot. Not a big one, but a good pound and a half -er right there. Thank you so much, baby. Let's go, man. We're on board. Well, there we go, boys. That is one fish on the crazy looking frog. It took so many casts in there, dude. But that was worth it, man. That might be how today it is. One, we're probably gonna have to slow it down, and two, we might have to throw a lot of the same cast in some of those spots that were like, there's a fish there. See, I wish I could work this frog slower sometimes, but with the current, I kind of have to try to work it a little fast. There's like no stopping myself. It's like I kind of have to work it faster than I would like. What about this boy though? What about that boy? If you guys want to see a video of that, let me know. Look at this. I got I got something even crazier. On one of the next River Monster episodes, I got I got a lot of good ideas. Look at this. Look what I got in. Some more ducks. Oh yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see that. <laughs> We're gonna do it all. Ducks, snakes, whatever crazy looking creatures we can get on our hook. So we're gonna start fishing out now. We fish this whole bank. This is usually a good bank. I'm gonna still cast along it. I'm not gonna give up on it. We're gonna go back down this, fish it through very thoroughly, and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, boys, it is time to move. We're gonna keep on hunting. That was successful though. We caught our first fish and we got this party started. All right, changing plans. I was actually gonna go in another creek, but to be honest with you, I wanna try a main river spot, you know, just to kind of get a feel on what these fish are doing. You know, it's a little early in my opinion to fish out here, but I mean, in the summertime, I feel like these fish, they, they wanna be on the main river. Most of the time, you know, you're gonna catch them out here. Other than in those creeks, even though it's more primarily focused on the tide, but it's still, it's, it's at a good spot. It's not like it's high out here by any means. So we're gonna fish this frog out here on the main river. I think we'll have better luck, bigger fish, more bites, like this, I don't know. I just think this is the move. And if this doesn't work, then we'll go back into another creek and continue it. Either way, we're gonna be out on the main river for a good bit today. I don't know if you guys see that big old tree, but that is usually not there. That's, that's a boat tearing up boy right there. You, I want nothing to do with that thing. I really want to fish this bank a little tighter, but this dang boy's in my way, man. I don't know where he came from when he spawned there, but I'm just going, I'm going to try to get to the left of him. That is a, dude, that is a nasty tree, bro. That is something that you do not want to hit with your boat, like, at all. 
I'm gonna throw on this dang thing. Let's <laughs> imagine. That's a big tree too. But right here, guys, little crevices like this, this is a prime. There's another piece of a tree. One thing I didn't mention, there was a tournament last night and I don't know if that, you know, could affect these fish at all. It's not like there was a ton of boats in it, but I don't know. I don't think the river fish get hit like that. Only reason I didn't fish it was because it was too windy and with the cameras, it just wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been good. We're going to get back in the river tournaments this summer. If you guys want to see them, let me know. Just to prove to y'all that I'm not a crazy man. Watch this, dude. Watch this, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yep. I mean, like, like that, that right there is why these videos are hard. We could probably have 10 fish on the boat by now. And I threw that crawl in there and instantly got bit. I, how many times did I throw that frog? three times four times up in there not a lick pick up that crawl first cast bite i'm glad we got to witness that though that's pretty cool we might as well throw it again <laughs> i'm telling you there's there's probably so many fish right there and, and that's just crazy to me because you would think that they would bite the frog you would think that one of them would just get an itch and be like yo that frog looks so good let me just hammer it but some days they don't want it I mean, dude, they're lo they're literally loaded. <laughs> they're not big, but they're fat as can be. I mean, dude, look at this brute. Like, this fish, 100% is going to be a future 10-pounder. Short and stocky. And what's so cool about these river bass, guys, look how small the mouth is on that large mouth. That's, this is a large mouth bass, but look how small his mouth is compared to his body. <laughs> that is so crazy to me. You know, last time we came out on the river, we gave like a truce to ourselves that we weren't going to throw a Texas rig. And we ended up catching one on the day on a Texas rig. I did end up throwing it, but I really didn't throw it at all. This was more to prove to ourselves that there's fish there and they're just not wanting the prop. But there's another side of me that's like, those fish were small. You know, if we came across a bigger fish, you'd probably eat the frog, right? What was the one thing that we said when we came out on this main river? They they just might not be out here yet. That's another possibility. Because those two fish we caught are not what we're looking for. I mean, they're bass, they're fun to catch. They're, yeah, that's cool finding dandy. But we didn't see any of those large ones. They're just decent fish. I refuse to believe you're not home, bass. How many times do I gotta knock on your door? Come on. Dude, that was a freaking good bite. He missed it completely, bro. I know you guys heard that. Gosh. Right when I popped it, he was trying to hit it and he just couldn't get it. All right, we gotta do it. Like, when you miss a bite like that, you just, I can't just leave that fish, bro. And supposedly doesn't want to crawl. I'm very confused at what you want, brother. Mm. I knew he was there and I just, I was one pop away or one not popping the bait to, to catching that fish. But he decided to hit it right as I was popping it and just missed his mouth <laughs> just completely. I'm more of just so surprised that he just won't bite it again. He, he wouldn't even bite the crawl. Like he's probably long gone. He's probably already on the main river right here. He's probably just, he's probably coming out of this little creek here going out on the main river and he happened to see oh a frog all right boys we gotta leave we are getting too caught up with ourselves. we had a couple bites there on a frog just did not get to commit caught a couple on the texas rig just for the fun of it and uh it is time to continue moving i found them boys you guys probably have no idea what i'm talking about but i kind of had a situation it's not under control i just have to i have to Ah. <laughs> that is not how you're supposed to do that. Oh, you sexy, you sexy beast. Come here. Ah, yes, sir. <laughs> My frog flew out of the boat, man. And I went over it. I went past it. I'm like, where's it at? And then I saw her just glistening in the sun. We got her back. That is not staying out no more. I did not mean for that to happen. 
All right, here, boys. We are in some new waters. Some waters your boy has either never fished before or haven't fished in like three years. Yo, 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 hold on. Hit the pause button. What? It's really been a while since I fished the river, if I've never noticed that. I'm pretty sure there are pads right there that I've never seen before, ever, which is interesting. I want you guys to think about something. I have never live scoped a fish on the river. Can we just like try it for a minute and y'all not get mad at me? Let's just like, he's actually going down on my bait. I don't know what it is. Live scoping on the river just feels wrong. Oh, what just happened, dude? I don't know what that was. I don't think it was a bass, but it was big, whatever it was. What in the world is going on? Dude, that was a large fish. I, I think that was like gar or something, man. I We can slow-mo that clip for y'all. I, I don't, I have no clue. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. That was just a large fish. That's all I know. I would be ecstatic catching a fish on live scope on the river. Like this is so like, I don't even use graphs on the river. And by the way, those are pads that are along this bank. I can't remember if there was always pads on this edge or not. Everybody that I know that fishes out here probably watching this like no this pads have been there for seven years But I just can't remember it and there's a lot of fish right there on the edge of that dang thing, dude Oh my gosh, hold on Hold on Hold on man This might be just, this just might be something special There's a gator you want to catch a gator? I mean I not my preferred species but it would definitely tug a little bit totally kidding guys i'm not <laughs> i'm totally not gonna tip that gator in the eating my frog there we go yes let's go baby Come here, boy. Let's go, son. That's a good bass too, dude. The last patch. Let's go, baby. I'm about to say it just, it is shallow, but it looks too good for there to not be a fish. And a good like two, two and a half pounder. Smoke that frog, baby. Let's go. This is why you never give up. Even if you think you're very dumb and you're making dumb decisions, you always believe, man. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. That that was that just made my day. Catching a frog fish in pads on the river. Like that's not something we do often. So that was just uh, round of applause, baby. Come on. Frog fishing's back. This is our first frog video of the year. Somehow. I have no idea how I haven't filmed one yet. But that was awesome. <laughs> I saw him come after that thing, dude. And just, oh man. Just when you think. Today's not the day for frog fishing. You randomly stumble on pads that you've probably seen before. Like, I, I just can't remember seeing these pads here. But, man, what a catch, dude. What a catch. Dude, I mean, like. Mm, I don't know, man. There's got to be a fish up there. Okay, it's full of crap, probably. Definition of full of crap. They don't want to eat my frog. It's the definition. I mean, look at that little crevice, dude. Like, I'll throw a spinnerbait or a crawl up there right now. Boom. Frog? No. Maybe. Crazy how clear this water is, man. It really is. That's one thing I didn't talk about, but going up river here there's a lot of very clean water and i haven't seen river water that clean in a minute like i can see a lot of the bottom and that ain't something you see often and as you guys can tell i'm throwing a spinner bait i was just wanting to pick something else up right here because they weren't eating that frog we're about to move spots here in about two seconds because they should be loaded on some stuff that i have on the other side of the river all right, we're back to similar waters that we were fishing before. Just a little bit later with that tide going down more. 
and we're gonna try to fish over some of these waters because I'm telling you there's got to be a lot of fish up in here I'm gonna tie on a couple other baits here in a moment we got about an hour of good fishing left with that being said I mean as much as I want to continue to catch them on a frog we got to think realistically here so we're gonna throw the frog where we need to I'm sure we're gonna catch a couple more on the frog but you know when I need to I'm gonna pick up other rods and try to put some more fish in the boat because I'm we've gone on we've gone over so many fish we probably could have 20 fish by now that we were fishing other baits alongside with the frog but I was really trying to you know push the frog bite that's not really the best today we have this other frog rod we haven't even thrown it yet kind of enjoying the frog that I'm throwing but I got some of these buzz baits the other day and I thought they were perfect so we're gonna tie that baby on and give it a shot if we're gonna catch them on another bait we might as well throw another top water I'm telling you right now this buzz bait a good bit if you guys watched the first river monster episode we absolutely tore them up on a buzz bait we only caught one fish on a frog in that episode and it actually broke our frog and it was the only frog we had with us so I need the buzz bait to get a couple bites Throw that alongside this frog I think that's a killer combo oh gosh that buzz bait is so perfect I can't believe we didn't get smoked. As far as top waters on the river, this is probably ranked number one. I mean, this thing just buzzbait just catches fish out here. They might just not want not want to come up today. There we go. Not a big one, but that's a buzzbait bass. Let's go, man. Not the frog bass we wanted, but hey, that's a topwater bass, baby. Let's go, man. It's a little fat dude. That is our first fish on the buzz bait. I was about to say, there's just no fish over here. So that fish, I don't even think would eat a frog because his mouth's so small. At least he wouldn't get it in his mouth all the way. But that's awesome right there. Been fishing this bank for about 10 minutes. So first bite. See if we can get a couple more. Oh, there's a gator. I was like, what is that? Oh, gator boy. He just went underwater. He's long gone. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd be a little terrified to go head to head with a gator. You know what I mean? All right, boys, it's time to get, we gotta go. We're at a new spot, boys. At a new spot. We're gonna try the top water a little bit more. Oh no, my drag slipped. Oh my gosh, I don't think I hooked that fish though. That was a good bite. There we go. He actually came back for it. That might've been a different fish. Let's go, baby. Come on. Just stopped at a new spot. We got that baby to smoke the buzz bait. Super fat fish, man. That might, I don't think that was the same fish, bro. Usually they don't come back for it like that. Dude, there's some good fish on the bottom here. There we go. Oh, that would have been my first live scope fish on the river, bro. Oh my God, I bet he, yeah, look at that. Took my dang pinchers right off. Gosh. All right, we're catching one of these, man. <laughs> that was. That was actually sick, man. My heart stopped when I got that bite. I was like, we're about to catch a live scope bass. When I felt it, I'm like, there is no shot. I don't know if they're bass or what they are. I want to say they're bass, how they're looking on the graph, but it's also hard to tell and he only got the pinchers. There's a lot down there though. Oh my God what was that that might have been a mud bro that's got to be a mud fish there, there's no if ands or buts about that bite either that's a big bass or that's a mud fish i have no crappy no nothing and i'm not stopping we're gonna find out and that was one hard thump. 
it's got to be it. it i don't know it's something big that's all i know that's really all i care about at this moment it's a big fish let's try to catch it oh, dude he took my crawl what's going on here he took my pincher i mean whatever's down there is mean bro like mean he biting every freaking cast Little bass. Over here toying with these fish off the bank. First cast on the bank. Thump. Thump. Not the size we wanted, but this one might be. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're loaded on this bank. I mean, I just threw up there. Then all of a sudden, threw back up there. Thump. Yeah, we might have found some fish. I ain't catch those babies on the frog, but a buzzbait fish and a crawfish, I can't complain, man. We just don't have much time and I wanna try to catch a big and I just ripped my dang tail off my bait. Already gone through a whole dang pack of these with how bad they were biting my freaking crawl. I just went right up on these fish, dude, without paying attention. We're over here playing with these fish off the bank, dude, and just, maybe we found spot that finally has some dang fish i'll pick up that frog and that buzz bait here in a second oh my goodness that's a good bass come here let's go dude that's two and a half pounder oh baby they are loaded boys We've been waiting on this bite all day. I feel like we could have been doing that all day. We were just being stubborn, but that's a good fish right there. Good two, two and a half pounder. I gotta lock the boat up here for a second. Let's just keep us. That was definitely a sturgeon, guys. I don't know if you guys know, there's actually sturgeon in this river. Very prehistoric fish. I wish I could give you more information about them, but the coolest looking fish y'all will ever see. And they actually come up and down these river channels and you'll see them jump here and there's, it's really cool. But enough of that. Let's try to catch some more of these bass. I feel like they're just stacked, dude. We just gotta, we gotta slow down. I never do that on the river. I'm always like getting and moving, but we just caught three fish in a couple seconds here. And there's a big tree way off the bank. So I'm throwing right up on the cypress knee. And this tree right here kind of edges out more off the bank. And that's exactly where that fish just bit me. I drug right through the tree just like how I am now. And then so I want to say that fish we just caught would have ate a buzz bait or a frog, but you know, he was just so far deep. And that's really what we're dealing with today. These fish aren't up. Not saying, you know, it's impossible to get top water bites because we caught four or five fish on top water today. It's just, they're not positioned how you need them to. All right, it's time to move. Got a little bit more time, guys. Just a little bit. Let's get it. Dude, come on, he spit it. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a really good bite. I freaking hesitated. I should've lifted up. I hesitated and he spit it out. That was a really nice bite. He should bite it again if I get it in the same spot. I gotta hurry though. Jeez, man, that my only bite on this bank. That was a nice bite too. Let's see if we can get him to eat it again. Love to catch that fish. I could just tell it was a little heftier. It was really my fault though. I mean, I might not have hooked him if I, if I did it right away, but then again, better chance than what I did. fish in the sea. Well, thought you'd be bigger than that. 